Hi, I'm Chuck Bentley, CEO of Crown Financial Ministries and executive producer of the God Provides film series. This film is based on a remarkable parable Jesus told about a rich man and a beggar. We'll see that earthly wealth is temporary. God provides it to take care of our needs, but also to help others all around us. Money and wealth are not evil, but no amount of money or possessions can satisfy our deepest need. We all have a God-shaped vacuum that only Christ can fill. Our faith in the choices we make determine our eternal destiny and the legacy we leave behind. Dare you touch me? Do you want me to be unclean as well? I shouldn't even allow you to beg at my gate. Forgive me, sir, forgive me. I have not eaten in days. I wondered if, if I might have some of the scraps that fall from your table. Scraps will fall from my table. <laughs> what then would the dogs eat? I have business to attend to. Here, burn this. It's infected. was a rich man who dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury. 
At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. fulfilled for both men to die and pass from this life to the next. Welcome. Father Abraham? Yes. Yes, I am Abraham. Welcome to paradise. Paradise? Yes, Lazarus. Paradise! We've been preparing a banquet in your honor. Yes, yes, come.
Son, you remember. In your life, you received your good things. And Lazarus here received his bad things. Now he is being comforted, and you are in agony. Please, please. Besides all of this, there is between us a great chasm affixed. If someone wishes to come from here to you, they cannot, and no one can cross from you to us. Father Abraham, there is one thing I ask of you. Let Lazarus go to my father's house, for I have five brothers. Let him tell them, warn them, so that they too do not come to this place of torment! They have Moses. They have the prophets. Let your brothers hear them. No. No. But if someone from the dead comes to them, <laughs> they will repent. No, if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded the one rises from the dead. Come to the place your father has prepared for you. We can divide his estate now. We'll all be rich. That is what he would have wanted. Where do you think he is now? was rich in this life. I'm sure he'll be rich in the next.